Hello, everybody. Welcome to the PWO Prediction Show for this year's Royal Rumble, uh, airing live tomorrow. Hopefully, this comes out before then, so you can all see it before the show. As always, I'm your host, Matt. With me tonight, I have Ben from Colorado. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Back by popular demand, it's Pat. How's it going? And, of course, it's Cod Sinclair. Quick count. So... Uh, we're just going to go right into it, okay? There's six matches on the card. We're going to give you each of them. Royal Rumble, we're going to give you our who our most eliminations and our winners. So we're going to start right off the bat with the SmackDown women's title, and that is Carmella versus Sasha Banks. Guys, this doesn't need to take very long. One, two, three, Sasha Banks. Sasha. Everybody's doing, yeah. I'm going Carmella. Nah, you right. schmuck. Go ahead. Give us your reasoning. Uh, Because I hate Sasha and I want her to lose. Okay, that's fair. There's not a good reason for it. I just don't like her and I want to pick her. All right. Well, up next, we have the women's tag titles on the line. It's going to be Asuka and Charlotte Flair defending against Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. If I can steal a line from someone else who's talked about this match, really, the only way you win is if you make sure Nia Jax doesn't injure you. So... I'll start this one off and tell everyone. Uh, I think Asuka and Charlotte are going to retain here. I think Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler are going to implode in the Rumble. And uh, I've always predicted that it's going to be Asuka versus Charlotte for the women's title while they're both holding the tag titles at WrestleMania. So, so you, so you have the so you have the women's Rumble going on before the women's tag title match. No, you just said they were going to implode in the Rumble. Yes. What I'm saying is they're not going to be a tag team following the Royal Rumble. Oh, okay. Not be he, he thinks they will – this will be the beginning of the end of the night. By the end of the night, it won't be a team. Yeah. They, they won't win their rematch, and they'll eliminate each other from the Rumble. Uh, Matt, you're wrong. Uh, it's Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler are going to win the title. Uh that basically was like, hey, here's Charlotte. She's coming out as queen. And yes, we all know Jeff says the queen stays queen, but not this time. God, what do you think? Um, Oscar and Charlotte retain, um, have a ton of momentum. Um, Charlotte is pretty much the ambassador of the women's division at this point. Um Coming off of uh, coming off of you know superstar spe- spectacle India, blood money three, um, so they're gonna ride that wave. They're going to get a high profile women's tag title match at Mania. In my in my opinion, I think it could either be as much as we probably don't want it the Bella Twins, um, or maybe some other le- legendary women's tag team. Maybe we finally get Natalia Beth Beth, uh, Beth Phoenix. Um, but I also think storyline wise, there's a point to 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 change titles at this point. All right, Pat, what do you think? I think uh, Cod is like 100 percent on target. I think they need to build other women at this point, and Charlotte Mosca can still be a high profile match by being in the tag match and carrying belts into Mania. Um, so I think that is going to happen. And um, I agree with you also. I think Shayna and Naya are probably going to get broken up. Um, I could see one of them winning the Rumble and jumping shows as well. That could potentially happen, but we'll save that for later. And um, finally, I also would say that Don't be shocked if Ben is right, because in the past, when Naya has really hurt somebody, she seems to get rewarded for no reason. So that made me want to pick them with Ben, but I'm hoping to go against uh, the trend where she gets rewarded for hurting people. The only reason I say uh, Naya and Shayna are winning this, and this is kind of a preview into my you know, long-term mania booking storylines is uh, Charlotte Asuka is going to be your mania match for the Raw women's title. Fair. 
I think they could still have that match while they're both tag champs. They've done that before with uh, Cena and HBK. Yeah. So I think it could be a good possibility. Oh, we got a surprise guest on the show, too. Yeah. We, we got to remember it's a two-night show, too. Yeah, they could defend the titles they one could night. defend the title the first yeah. night and wrestle against each other the second night. Yeah. Like the way you think. Like the way you think. All right, guys, up next, it is Drew McIntyre versus Goldberg. <laughs> And uh, you know what? I'm going to start this one off maybe a little wild here. Drew McIntyre wins in a minute. I think he's going to claim more Goldberg, claim more uh, he'll pop. Uh, Goldberg will hulk up and go for a spear and get Claymore again. McIntyre wins, further proving that he is the top dog. Ben? Uh, I agree with you that Mac is winning this match. Uh I don't think it's as short as you think it is, but I still think it is a short match. Uh, five minutes at the longest. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but, you know, I think uh, it's going to be something along the lines of Goldberg comes out, spear, pop, attempt for a jackhammer, reverse it, Claymore kick, pop. Drew does a few of his, you know, his moves, Claymore kick, it's over. All right, Mr. Lilly. It's uh, it's Goldberg. Goldberg is going to win. Thank you, Pat. Um, I hate I hate to be the guy to do this, but um, Goldberg does not put people over. He's not going to come back to get squashed. Um, I will gladly eat my words on Monday about this if it happens, and I will be happy to do it because I would love to see it. I just don't think Goldberg does the job for anybody ever. He took he had to get tasered to lose a match, period in WCW. Um, so I just don't see him doing the job. I see him winning, and if he doesn't, it's gonna be because Miz is gonna eat the pin, and Goldberg's gonna get a rematch at Mania if that happens. So we might as well see him take the title tomorrow night and get it over with. Um, because that's what's going to happen at some point. Todd? Yeah, um, I called I called Goldberg going over the Fiend last, last year. I will always go on record and remind you people that I did that um, mm-hmm. because I'm a clairvoyant. Um, guys, <laughs> Goldberg is going to win, okay? You don't bring him back to, you know, lose. Mm-hmm. Okay. I get that Drew McIntyre is dedicating his victory to everybody that has COVID and is fighting COVID. Okay. Goldberg, okay, is going to squash mm-hmm. those dreams because he doesn't care. He cares about money. Vince paid him to come back. He's going to win because he's getting a lot of money. Yep. He cares That's about all- the Goldberg legacy. Yeah. And, and the fact that he can bury as much talent as Triple H and Hulk and Hulk Hogan and John Cena combined because he does not care about the business. See, you done screwed up now. Triple H nope. doesn't bear nope. Triple, next Triple, one. Nope. Triple H next, puts everybody. Next, next Triple match. H puts everybody over. Only one next, 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 next match. Triple H next literally match. puts everybody next over. Match. All right. Next match. Up another next, video. It is Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Title in a last man standing match um now i'm not sure if everyone caught the promo last night on smackdown but uh essentially they had roman reigns going after kevin owens father and grandfather and uh for me now now i'm I'm with you maybe that doesn't mean anything at all it doesn't i think you're not gonna have kevin owens lose three times in a row here i think this is gonna be a Double count out. Neither man are going to be able to reach the count of 10. This is Royal Rumble uh, 2004, last man standing with Triple H, Shawn Michaels. That might be the only res- result that would be worse than Roman winning. I don't think so. But uh, Ben, you're up. Uh, Roman's retaining the belt. And I think this is match of the night. Uh, how he retains the <laughs> belts. I am not too sure. I know you guys love the Rumbles. I, I want whatever drug you are on. <laughs> Do you think Roman Reigns is going to have a match of the night? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As someone currently taking medication. Yeah, give me some of that. That might make my uh, again, it's the bold prediction. It's my bold prediction for uh, Royal Rumble twenty one. But I think I think Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens in the last man standing match is the match of the night. I know it's a crazy prediction, but that's why it's bold. So just to clarify, though, so you have Roman winning? Uh, Roman's retaining the belt, but I do think Roman wins. Uh, yeah, Roman wins. I just don't know how you could say it's going to be a match at night and not know how it finishes. you got to have something in mind if you think it's going to be a match at the night. Uh, it, it, it's a last man standing match. You never know how they're going to end half the time until. Well, as long as it doesn't go the Batista John Cena ending of wrapping the feet around the ring post so they can't physically stand up. But um, I, in, see, in, Ben's, in, <laughs> in Ben's defense, the bar is really fucking low. So, Look, I'm going to let y'all finish, but the Royal Rumble is the best match at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view every year. Oh, are we not just talking about singles matches? I'm talking match of the night, period. But oh God, Ben, what dr- what drugs are you on? <laughs> right, whatever Pat. drugs that you're on. Pat, who's winning this last man standing match? Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be Roman Reigns, unless Kevin Owens decides that talking about his dad and grandfather was too much, and he shoots Roman, which I'm hoping will happen. Um, I never understood why no one hasn't used a gun in a last man standing match. Um, I'm waiting for that creative booking to happen. Hopefully one day we'll get there. Um, but that's Kevin Owens' only hope uh, because we've got to protect, um, you know, the investment of Roman Reigns for some damn reason. God. Um, Roman is retaining. Um, he is going to win the match. Um, I do like where your head's at as far as as far as gun? No contest, as far as a no contest and uh-huh. the gun. Um, uh, he is the head of the table for a reason. I think the end spot is going to be they're going to be in catering somewhere, or they're going to be in like some kind of board boardroom. And both and both Jimmy and Jay are going to pick Roman up by the arms and sit him in a chair at the head of the at the head of whatever table is closest. Oh my God! Uh, now oh. to add more to God's thing here. God, I might walk out into the timeline here for Jimmy Uso to return from injury, so it is plausible that that happens here. I might literally walk out into the snow never to be seen again if that happens. <laughs> you're you're going to become a bumble. This is it's going to be like freaking uh, the end of The Shining. <laughs> you going to go buy a blockbuster? <laughs> I don't think we can do that anymore, Matt. Ooh. Randy did. That's a South Park reference making fun of The Shining. <laughs> All right. Women's Royal Rumble. Can't believe we're already there, guys. We're here. Let me go ahead and give you the 13 people who've already been announced, okay? So we do have Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, if she's cleared percussion pro- yeah, concussion protocol, Peyton Royce, Alexa Bl- Bliss. Oh my God. Shayna Bill. Huh, Shayna Baszler, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Tamina, and Natalia. Uh, also on backstage tonight, we will be getting one and two for the women's. Uh, we're finding run. out thirty as well. Uh, I thought it was thirty for the men. Uh, so on um, the backstage, it is Tamina versus Natalia, and the winner is number thirty. Now Uh-oh. they did change that to where they were going to announce the number thirty or the number one and two instead of that. I did read that on Twitter this morning. Oh, I saw that announcement this morning. So, all right, interesting. So two, so to be determined, I guess, because yeah. I really don't care. Yeah, we'll see what happens with they're, that stage. They're going to do something. WWE <laughs> needs you to tune in to see what? something. <laughs> We don't uh, know what, but it'll be a thing. Um, 
So we're going to give you our most eliminations and our winners here. I'm going to go ahead and start this one off with my most elimination for the Women's Rumble is going to be someone who is not officially announced. Uh, so maybe I'm going to completely miss on this. My most eliminations this year is going to be Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross has been doing a lot of really great stuff on her social media, putting out like how she's overcoming and dealing with situations, uh, beating me again on main event and being frustrated. I think this could be a, uh, somewhere where you maybe push uh, Nikki Cross to the moon. When uh, when did she wrestle me again? Oh, God, maybe. Was it this Wednesday? Because she's probably in COVID protocol. No, she... no, no, no. It was like weeks ago. Oh, yeah, that, I, don't, that, I don't watch main event, so if, she, if the main event this week happens. It was like three, four weeks ago. Okay, because Mia Yim is yeah, co- COVIDed. Positive. Ooh. Oh, that might really mess up my men's prediction. Well, I'm glad that Mustafa Ali's not going to win now. <laughs> uh, I was actually talking about Mia Yim's partner. Uh, yeah. So... Damn, my mute was on it. Kept on saying Keith Lee. I'm yeah. A, let me let me get through my my prediction here before I scramble to think of something different. Uh, <laughs> so, Nikki Cross will be the most eliminations, and I am doubling down. I said it on Thursday. I'm gonna say it again. I think this is Bianca Belair winning Women's Royal Rumble. We need someone to actually do it for SmackDown. We need someone over there to make us care about the SmackDown Women's Title. I think Bel Air could be the athlete and the superstar to do it. All right, Ben, you're up. Eliminations and winner. Uh, eliminations. Uh, she's going to be frustrated from losing her titles earlier in the night. It's going to be Charlotte Flair. Uh, your winner will come out either one or two, eliminating the other person who came out one or two. It's going to be Bel Air last eliminating Bailey. Oh, we got two for Bel Air here. All right, this is different. I was not expecting this. I'm not a big Bel Air fan. Her character and in-ring work just doesn't do it for me. But it's, I think, you know, with everything that happened over the summer and it's, you know, it's somebody who's not in the normal, it's not one of the four horsewomen. It's, you know, it's, the next breed of NXT women. So, all right, interesting. Pat Lilly, are we doing? Up. Hold on, time out. Are, are we doing surprise entrant too? Because there's only 13 women announced. I feel like that might be an interesting. Um... Well, let me talk about mine before you go there. Just uh... yeah, say the person you've been saying for a month now. <laughs> Two months, three months, four months. Yeah. Right, that's 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 not going to be at the show. You say that, but I'm sticking to it at this point. And I know that they came out. Somebody came out and said she's definitely not going to be her. there. But you know, at the same time, there's a, a good chance that that could be smoke screening. And at this point, I'm committed to it. So you know, even if it's wrong, it is what it is. Um, I agree. With Ben, that fresh off their loss in the tag title match, Shayna Baszler will have the most eliminations. Um, but um, I have Ronda Rousey as a surprise and the winner to go face Asuka for the Raw Women's title. All right, Cod, so we'll do you and then give us your surprise. Then, Ben, I will give you a surprise pick for the women's. Uh, Nia Jax, Nia Jax. Uh, um, I don't. Sadness over there. I don't want it. And I've been saying it for the past three or four episodes now um, that um, this is that she is predominantly in, in main event women's storylines. She's always at the forefront of, of Raw as far as the women's division goes. Um, they will not retain later in the – they will not retain earlier in the evening, which will then lead them into the Rumble in which not only will Nia Jax eliminate Shayna Baszler, but she will eliminate half of the field. She's going to eliminate 15 women? 
Oh my she will have made half of the field. Oh my god. I could see them booking that. I will be sick to my stomach. And here's the reason why. They have WWE for what it's worth has done an okay job rewarding the people that have been working through COVID. Um, not well to where you know people that have stayed through are winning a ton of matches. Um, but the ones that they really really call value it, call it like it is they value the Samoan family and they value them and they get all the breaks regardless of what they do that's why Roman can take months off for COVID and come back and win the belt within a week of re-emerging that's why Nia Jax can literally shorten people's careers and still get rewarded correct no and I and I completely agree what, what we, we talked we, about it on I mean, we talked about it on a show the other night. You know, it's 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 a problem that they don't see, so they're gonna take it and run with it. They're gonna show, and she's even selling it on Twitter. Like, yeah. you know, she's making fun of people on Twitter, saying that she is you know reckless yeah. and can't work. So I she's think they're gonna. She's turn always it. done that. She's such a dumb bitch. God damn it. Yeah. So that's my prediction for that. Um, I hate her my, so much. My surprise entrant is the only one that would oversee this. And if this person is in the Rumble, I am that is my new winner, and it is Tessa Blanchard. Um, she's Man, been, do you think they do that? Have her um, win? I mean, they didn't uh, do that for AJ, yeah. Uh, they AJ, well, Tessa's also I mean, a more impact. We're legit. We're legit wrestling fans who know Tessa Blanchard. I I just don't think the average WWE fan is going to get it, like the gravity of her coming and, like, winning. That's why I can't see it. This I, can, I can see her them wasting her debut on something like that, but it would be much more powerful for her to just come out and freaking waste somebody tomorrow or Monday night. You know, tomorrow from when you're probably watching this. God, um, can you imagine if she comes out 30 and dumps uh, Nia Jax and Shayna over the top rope to win it? She's uh, immediately the you know biggest face in 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 either women's division. Oh, yeah, I just um, don't, I just don't believe I don't I don't believe that's going to get her over with WWE fans. I mean, now, I, whether, I, I hope I'm wrong because that would be cool. Now, ooh, you know what? It might not matter, Pat. It might not matter. Cause we're not we're not the ones making the sound in the in the stadium. Well, you're right about that. Yeah. WWE's piping in their noise. You're right about that. <laughs> uh, also, just kind of a little interesting tidbit uh, with Ryan saying uh, Nia is going to eliminate half the field. The record overall is Brock Lesnar last year with 13. He's tied with Braun Strowman at 13. Yeah, but Braun was in the Greatest Royal Rumble, so. They still count it in their uh, in their video, so they're counting his tie. Yeah, yeah, because they count Daniel Bryan being in there for like two hours, six stupid minutes. You know, um, like and they have um, Bianca Belair and Shayna in their debuts last year, tied at eight for the women's. Yeah. Um, here's my surprise one. Uh, because you know what? Uh, we let's, let's just do it. Uh, Kaylee Ray. I don't know how they find her way overseas, but they do have um, – oh, God, I can't remember her name, but the Japanese wrestler who they signed prior to COVID who showed up on NXT UK. They have her coming to the States. So yeah. I, uh, I don't know how much of a shock this would be, uh, but I think we get Beth Phoenix back. There's a part of me that, uh, and we talked about this on Thursday, I would love to see Beth and Edge both be the winners. Yeah. All right. To the men's. To the men's. To the men's rumble. I'm going to go ahead and cover who is officially in the match. We have 21 currently. It is Daniel Bryan, Bobby Lashley, AJ <laughs> Styles, Randy Orton, Otis, The Miz, Jey Uso, Cesaro, Jeff Hardy, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, Shinsuke Nakamura, Big E, John Morrison, Sheamus, Mustafa Ali, Edge, King Corbin, 
Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio and Braun Strowman. Uh, so we'll do most elimination surprise and winner. Um, my most eliminations this year, and this is going to be the one that makes everyone super, super happy. Cesaro is going to eliminate like nine people from the rumble this year. And it's going to be the most for the men's. It seems like we're finally doing it. We're finally at least giving him some love. Um, at least with what they're doing on SmackDown with him, which has been enjoyable. I'm looking forward to him and Shinsuke Nakamura imploding and going one-on-one at WrestleMania. Um, my surprise for the men's. Uh, you know what? Well, we will go Damian Priest. Yeah. Um, he's not really doing anything in NXT right now. This could be the time to move him up to the main <laughs> roster. Um. And God, guys, for two years, I've been telling you Keith Lee is going to win the Royal Rumble. Uh, um, but with me again testing positive for COVID, I, I feel like that would eliminate Keith Lee from being in the Rumble this year. Uh, so, uh, guys, I really want to stay true here and say Keith Lee, but are you guys, are you guys willing for me to accept and say someone else? Due to the situation, yeah. Um, as long as you're not like Keith Lee won, and I'm right because I picked somebody else. No, I mean, I mean, you've been saying now for two months Keith Lee's going to win the no, rumble. I said it on last year's 2020 prediction that he'd be getting ready to win the rumble. I re-emphasized it for the predictions this year, but if he's out with COVID, well, yeah, I I, I can't. So, uh, got it. Everybody picked two winners, so you got two chances. <laughs> I, Stick I, to your guns and pick Keith Lee. I mean, but with COVID, that would make that okay. Meltzer, so hold said, on. Meltzer said Ronda Rousey isn't showing up, and I still, still on that. Hold on. Did you read Miriam's statement on Twitter earlier? I have not. I've just been told okay. that it's a positive. So, very quickly, she said, um, She's been de- she has been debunking rumors uh, that she's had COVID the entire time. She's been getting tested every week for several months and weeks. Um, she got tested this afternoon and then tested positive. So Keith Lee is very much still in play. I just feel like through contact tracing, I mean, they live together. Yeah, I mean, through contact trade tracing, though, that, that could mean a number of people are out. I think that um, – and it could be depending on what they were doing on that day where she got – where, you know, she does positive. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm just goading you into picking Keith Lee and being wrong. Just Who do knows? it. Pick Keith Lee. You know. Stick to your guns. All right. Well, I, for the show here, I'm going to say it's going to be Keith Lee. When we're off there, I'll tell you guys who if it's not. Ben, go ahead. Give us your most elimination, surprise, and winner. Most eliminations, and you guys are going to hate this, Randy Orton. Uh, yeah, I really do hate you. <laughs> uh, as a surprise entrance, oh, God, I have no idea. Uh Uh, let's Hi. let's go. We got uh, we're going Adam Cole as our uh, and mystery entrant. And for a winner, I hate it, but I'm going Corbin. I don't think it's Corbin's time yet, but I feel you know. He's kind of stuck in limbo. They gave him everything to do for a hot minute there. And I feel he needs, you know, let's re-push Corbin. So so I'm going Corbin to win it. And you said your hot take was Roman versus KO was going to be the hot take of the night. <laughs> All right. Well, Mr. Lilly, you got to talk about the nightmare scenario or are you giving a different prediction? 
Most eliminations, um, I'm going to go with, um, man, let's go with Diesel. Diesel is going to have the most eliminations. So Diesel is also your he's, shock entrant? He's one of them. <laughs> Where? We go with Diesel. Diesel's going to have a good showing. I don't know if you've seen Kevin Nash lately, but Kevin Nash is in great shape. Like, uh, there'd be some reason for him to wrestle a little bit. Hey, Logan. Um, so that'll take care of one of my surprise entrances. And then my winner is going to be Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon's going to win the Royal Rumble. He's going to wrestle uh Roman at WrestleMania and we'll have another corporate tribe thing go on where Roman will do the ultimate heel thing and that's turn on the Usos and become the corporate tribal chief. So we're just gonna be the rock. Yes, because that's what they want him to be, despite the fact that he has no charisma and no ability. And no talent. He's he is pretty much the anti rock. There's a, there's a number of people who would disagree with you on some of those. I don't care. The only emotion, the only emotional thing he's ever done was give a fake leukemia speech. So there you go. God. All right. Um, I do think as far as my surprise entrant goes, I think that we'll see Booker T because um, Bad Bunny's song is called Booker T. It'll be a nice tie-in. Um, not my surprise entrant because I know he's going to be in it. Um, surprise entrant is going to be Christian. Um, Edge and Christian are going to have their you know you know five seconds of fame, and then Edge is going to dump him out. I think. I think it's a nice – one of those nice spots in the middle of the Rumble, you know, that's – that, you know, kind of, you know, kind of, you know, eases you of the tension for a second. Um, most eliminations is going to be Bobby Lashley. Good pick. Um, I, th- I think he's – I think he's due. Um, and the winner, AJ Styles. There is not much in WWE that AJ Styles hasn't done. Um, this is this is one of them. I think that he that whatever they stick him in, he does an incredible job. Um, he's still one of the best workers in the world, regardless of who you put him with. Um, and then I think his stuff with Omos over the past few weeks has been hilarious. Um, He's on top of the world in my eyes, and I think he finally gets the win. All right. I'll admit I almost all chose AJ Styles as well. God. So. Well, well, in well, in our 2021 prediction show, um, I did predict Adam Cole would be in the Rumble, so that can't be my surprise if it if I'm if I'm already predicting it to happen. So. Yeah. Yeah, you could totally can because you know. Uh, no, because it's gonna happen. He's already been in a Royal Rumble. All right. Well, guys, that is your predictions for the Royal Rumble. Let me ask you guys, how excited are you for the Royal Rumble? Uh, mm-hmm. Scale of one to ten, seven, six. Uh, I was more looking forward to getting to see everybody uh, safely, of course. Uh, but with the inclement weather, that's, you know, on the horizon for us here in the mid-Atlantic. Uh, I don't know how many people are going to be willing to brave that. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, I mean, Royal Rumble's always fun. It, it's yeah. always yeah, know, I think... a fun show to watch. Rumbles are great. It's the, probably the best concept in a wrestling match. Yeah. Uh, also, I feel like also when we get together for the Rumble, seeing everybody's just like faces as, you know, we get surprise entrance. Like the last real time before the world got crazy that we did that was the Royal Rumble last year. 
Yeah. Man. Bro. Uh, we all watched Revolution. And then we watched Blood and we watched Blood Money. And we killed Jeff. True. We watched Blood Money in my base or uh, in my little back area. Because it was on my birthday. And we killed Jeff. Uh, so much so that he refused to be on the on the prediction show because of it. Yeah. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. So with that, Ben, don't even pull up the notes from that. From that <laughs> Leave it in the dust. That show is gone from the air. No one knows it actually existed. I mean, you're not yeah. wrong. So with Ugh. that, guys, tell us your predictions down to the commentary section. And uh, if you like what you heard, you can support us at Kofi.com slash PWO one, two, three. It's as easy as one, two, three. And for the simple price of a cup of coffee, you can help us put on these great shows. Cod, hit him with the plug. Yeah, quick count. Um, no quick count today, no quick count tomorrow. It's the weekend. My voice is on E. Um, that will not stop me from doing Ref Bump tomorrow with Jeff. Uh, Royal Rumble 2018. It will be posted uh, before uh, the Rumble is live, the 2021 Royal Rumble. So it'll be a nice ease in to you watch the Rumble. And then please join the Discord. Um, I give daily and weekly show updates on there. So please get on the Discord, get on the Kofi, get on the subscribing, yes. uh, get on the liking. All get links the- are, will be in uh, the description box below. So, guys, I mean, if you're watching this, you're watching on the YouTube channel, just check out some of the other content we got. It's all good stuff. And with that, guys, we will see you on the other end of the Royal Rumble. We'll see you for uh, WrestleCast on Monday. Have a be safe. Enjoy the show. Have a good weekend. Bye, everybody. Bye.